In this video, we will demonstrate how DNA Star's reference guided genome assembly with gap closure workflow can condense a time consuming manual process into just a few minutes. To get started from the Seekman Engine Wizard, select Create New Assembly Project from the welcome screen. Select Genome Assembly as your project type and Reference Guided Assembly with Gap Closure as your assembly type. Name your file and determine the save location. Next, input your template files. Here, we are using a related E. coli genome, MC106. It is necessary to use paired end data for this type of assembly, so Seekman Engine can use the paired data to fill in where the sequence strain is different from the reference strain. In the Input Sequence Files window, you can select your specific read technology. Here we are using IN torrent data. Load your paired reads, which in this example is E. coli strain MG1655, and set your pair information. Adjust your assembly options to fit your project specifications. Seekman Engine also offers advanced assembly options that you can adjust accordingly. For this particular example, we will leave all parameters at their default settings. You are now ready to begin your assembly and can preview the script. Click Assemble to get started. After your assembly is completed, you can view the detected structural variance between your reference and your assembled sequence. Seekman Engine will generate three assembly projects at different stages of processing. The least processed file is the generated BAM file, where nothing has been split. If we look at the structural variation report by selecting Contig, Structural Variation Report, we can see that 31 different structural variants have been identified. In Seekman Pro, we can identify insertions. We'll look at this one as an example by scrolling down the read alignment in the alignment view until we can spot this trim point. If we untrim the reads, we can see that there is poor alignment in this region, and this indicates an insertion at this point. We can also identify deletions in Seekman Pro. We'll examine this one as an example by clicking Contig. Strategy view. And after zooming in, we can immediately see a drastic drop in coverage at this point. We can also look at the pair data by selecting the paired end display icon and then the paired end dialog icon. And finally, select split sequences to display. We can see that the reads shown in the pink arrows are reads that map to one or the other side of the gap, providing strong evidence for a deletion at this point. In the most processed file, marked aligned in the file name, reference genome bias is removed and novel regions are auto-assembled, removing many processing steps that would otherwise have to be done by hand. What Seekman Engine has done between the BAM file you just saw and this aligned file is to identify structural variants, split the referenced assembly at structural variant coordinates, excise the reference and merge deletion split reads, fill in insertion regions via de novo assembly, maintain the contig order in the scaffolds, and finally, assemble de novo contigs and insert these contigs into scaffolds. Ultimately, 28 of the 31 structural variants are automatically resolved. These last three structural variants are larger insertions. These can be resolved by de novo assembly of unmapped reads. The resulting contigs can then be used to close the scaffold gaps. If you have any other questions about Seekman Engine, Seekman Pro, or automated bacterial genome closure with a reference, please visit our website at www.dnastar.com or contact us at support at dnastar.com.